Hello everyone, welcome to a coin video. If this is our first time meeting, my name is Jonathan the Coin Collector and my channel is all about helping beginner, intermediate, and expert coin collectors with coin entertainment and coin collecting tips to help you keep on collecting. In today's video, we will be upgrading my type set. I've made a few of these before and obviously once I keep getting coins, I keep making these videos to keep you guys up to date on what I have. And I do apologize for the glare, but you will be able to see the coins that I will be adding because I will show them to you before I add them into my type set. So I've been working on my type set for probably a little over a year now. I've had some of these coins though longer than that. I just started my type set not too long ago and there already are a lot of cool finds. Some already from people who have sent me coins uh, and then other ones that I found or purchased. but. This is getting pretty, pretty full. So we're we're getting there. We're getting there. We got a few really cool individuals, and we will actually be starting at the back. So I'm just going to leave the page flipped right here. Let's just go ahead and dive right into updating my collection instead of rambling on about I don't even know what. Okay, so the first coin that I will be adding is a Morgan Silver Dollar. 1921, beautiful design. Looks like there's been some, what, it looks like fire? I don't know, maybe, looks like burn marks. Been through a fire or two. That's definitely burn marks, so that's pretty cool. So this one will actually be going to the left of the peace dollar, that's the peace dollar right there, so it'll be going right there. But let's just go ahead and just look at this a little longer so you guys can see it. Really, really amazing coin. And Phil actually sent me this, and I'll link below to uh, that video where I open up why can't I get this in? Where I open up the package that Phil had sent me. There we go. Man, that looks that looks a lot a lot better. Now there's only two slots there, two slots there, which actually I need to add a slot for the uh, American Innovators dollar. I think that's what it's called, the American Innovation dollar, uh, which will go right there, and then I'll have to extend this whole thing because uh, they're also adding new ones. So every time I'll have to add one over so that'll be that'll be kind of annoying but luckily this time it's at the end the next one that I will be adding is a 1963 Franklin half dollar also from Phil all of these are actually from Phil 1963 beautiful beautiful I love the little eagle right there mainly because it's also on the back of the quarter uh, it looks like the exact same one at least but I love this design I've actually seen the Liberty Bell in person so that's pretty cool and I've actually been to, which means obviously I've been to Independence Hall because it's like right across the street from Independence Hall, this bell is. So, yeah. It's also a national treasure, which is a really cool movie, but the design on the back of this is Independence Hall. So let's go ahead and add this to the collection. Wow, that looks, that looks a lot more full. Now there's only... One, two, three, four, five, six slots? Really? That's crazy. That's that's really crazy. Okay, the next one is a Liberty Seated No Motto half dollar from 1859. This is San Francisco. The S kind of looks like a five. I don't know why, but I accidentally did that. But there's the S mint mark. Really beautiful. I love it how it has half doll instead of completely finishing it, and it just has a period right there. I love this design so much. The eagle looks like a beast. He looks really cool. So let's go ahead and add that. This is actually going to be on the page before. So I believe it's... Let me check where this goes before I actually put it in a slot. It's this one right here. So this is the coin again. Beautiful, beautiful coin. That goes right below the state quarters design. And the only reason I picked Utah and White Mountain for state and America the Beautiful was just because they're estimate marks and I wanted to have estimate marks in those just to be kind of more cool than just you know playing Denver or Philadelphia so the next coin is capped bust 1835 this one actually it's really cool because it has 10 C on there instead of 10 cents or dime so it didn't actually say dime on here at all it has a nice legend up top really cool this actually goes on the other page which I know, right? They were flipping a lot of pages today. It goes wait, I, wait, right after, 
right after this one, so right here. Wow, that one, well, I was going to say it slipped in nicely, but it, it still kind of did. Okay, wow. Now, that's more full as well. Really, really nice. Filling up, we're filling up the collection. This is really nice. I think there's a total of seven coins that I'm going to be putting in. Next is a 1843 half dime, right? Half dime? Half dime? That's crazy. That's weird, okay? It's also weird that they made half dimes and, was it and nickels at the same time? No, they started making nickels in 1866, but they made half dimes and dimes. So I guess, wait, but they were making them at the same time, I think. I think. I'm almost certain that they are making them at the same time, but they started the half dime before the nickel. So 1843, half dime. This goes, where does this go? Well, for some reason, I think I accidentally uh, made this whole entire collection to where the half dimes are up here. Even though, technically, I guess it makes sense to make them by the dimes. But these were made first. So I'm putting the half dimes at the top. But they equal the same as the nickel. So, so this is the second design. So I believe it goes here. Yep, it goes second spot right there, but to go and look at it again, 1843, beautiful coin, second slot at the top. I don't know why I, I uh, did that. Maybe it's like that in the normal book, the Dance Co. album for the typeset, which I'll link to in the description below. Okay, now that is added in at the top. It's a little bit, it's a little lonely, but we'll try to find some friends for you soon buddy up there so you're the only one on the top row that's that's kind of sad but besides the sad note we need to flip the page again okay flip the page because we have a trime three cent silver i didn't actually know this was this small but this is a penny holder okay that's a penny holder that's smaller than a dime. This is probably the smallest American piece of currency, at least I have, but most likely ever. Let me know in the comments, actually, if it is the smallest, because I, I think it is. 1859, three cent silver trime. I already have a nickel trime that Phil also sent me, because Phil sent me this one as well. So let's go and just add this one right by it. Boom. Now we got both the three cents. So the three cent, the, yeah. So the three cents are complete. We do have one more fantastic coin. Oh, and why did I drop it? Luckily, it's in the case. But 1803, right? 217 years old by the time of filming. What is that stuff on the? Okay, well, for some reason, the front of this is coming off. So I'm going to have to replace it. But I'll do that after this video, I promise. So. One cent, one over a hundred, right there is shown. You may not be able to see it that well, but it says one over a hundred. And this is actually the design that goes right before that guy right there. So this is the, what is this, the draped bust? Yes, so this is the first design of the of the penny. What? First design? I have the second one. This is the first design that goes right there. I'm, I'm not going to put it in because I have to get it out and replace it. But it's still it's still there. Wow, that that's crazy. Adding seven new coins. I think it was seven new coins to the collection. Okay, not replacing, not not upgrading, seven brand new coins. I hope you guys check out my other typeset videos because it kind of shines the light on each of the individuals. I would go ahead and start with my 2020 collection typeset video because that one shows all of the ones that I had at the beginning of 2020. And then I've made typeset updates where I have obviously been updating my collection, adding on to it. So if you want to see the evolution of my typeset collection, definitely go check that video out. And then also the playlist where I do these updates. If you're not already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I post three times a week. That's three coin videos, coin related videos a week. And I'll let you in on a little secret on Monday. So this video went up on a Friday on Monday. I'm actually going to be posting a video where I talk about starting a YouTube type set. Now, you'll have to wait to find out what that exactly means, but that is coming out on Monday. So definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever that video comes out. That is it for this video, though. Go ahead and check out more of my content if this did interest you. 
Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and as always, keep on collecting.